Midday Grains Update. I'm Rich Paz of the Critical Point. December 15, 1231 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, the wheat market is off sharply. I mean, they hammered it. Let's bring up my chart real quick. I got it down 30 cents, okay? And uh, no surprise, model is saying, still looking for that level three bottom. Well, gee whiz, <laughs> we've got a new low compared to last week. So if anything, the odds are rising, it's probably putting in a bottom, okay? Nevertheless, that's a sizable move, and that's weighing on the corn market. So in other words, I don't have any fresh insight on the wheat market. <clears throat> I don't know what this really means down 31. Is it going to be down another 20? But I told you all along, you know, we know it can come down. We know it's been looking weaker than the corn and soybeans. And we know it's in that time frame for level 3 bottom, and there is no sign of a bottom. The trend is still down. It was trying to find a bottom a few days ago, but couldn't do it. All right. What does this mean relative to corn? Well, the corn market rallied this morning. It popped it quickly and generated that upside critical point objective, all right, that I mentioned this morning. But it has since pulled back. Now, it has not pulled back enough to cancel that objective. It's still under the table. This could be nothing but sympathetic trade to the wheat and really being off only four or five cents on my chart, that's not too bad, okay, compared to 30 cent drop in wheat. All right, it did challenge yesterday's low, uh, which I have at 581 and a half, and I have today's low at 582. And now, if it takes out, okay, the 581 and a half, as I told you, I'm concerned that that's a sign of a level four downswing into tomorrow or later. More importantly, though, I think it's a bit of evidence we've got a level three top. But I also want you taking out the recent high could be a sign of a level three trend up for the next week or two. That's still valid. It could still occur. But I think it's unlikely to occur if it closes below 581.5. If it closes below yesterday's low, can't rule out some weird thing that it just puts in a level three bottom and slams back up for the next week or two. But I'd be concerned of a little more downside into that level three bottom. I think what's going on is the market is rather confused right now. Has it put in a level three bottom after a level three top? Therefore, it ought to rally. And time-wise, the model would say, well, gee, they could buy corn for five to 12 business days, okay? Um, or uh, is the level three bottom already in place, just placed a level three top, now it can go down for five to 12 business days? Or, okay, it's put the top in and may only go down for a couple of more days for level three, but it could go down a sizable amount just because of these larger trends possibly rolling over, just because maybe sympathetic trade to the wheat is going to finally crack the corn, especially if soybeans are backing off. And soybeans act a little iffy, like they're unsure what to do here, but they started out on a positive note. Now they're not positive. I think overall the corn market's rolling over, and I think personally, before I would say this market's going higher next 5, 12 business days, there's that much demand there, I would give it a chance for a final last opportunity to put a level 3 top in as of today. And now that opens the door to an additional bearish forecast. We now have two bearish forecasts, only one bullish forecast. And the two bearish, one of those allows down 5 to 12 business days. The other one's saying probably only down a couple days. It's probably not going to amount to much. It's still trying to make up its mind what to do. And it could still recover and looking out in the next week or two. Don't know, but I don't want to see a close below 581.5 in the March corn. And let me just double check that. Yes, I have 581.5. Close below that, I got to give the bears a chance for this level three trend and then just got to debate, is it just a little dab of selling? Is, are they going to be selling uh, for a while here? On the flip side, if in the next few days it can take out today's high, okay, now I want it to go higher still. It's got to take out 596 and a half, pay no attention to last week's high. If it wants to go higher in the next couple of days, I would say, okay, it had a little sympathetic trade for wheat, but really didn't want to go down. It's still a rather firm, wouldn't call it strong, but it's still a firm market 
the bulls still have a slight edge over the bears, okay? So hopefully that gives you some parameters to work with, but uh, right at the moment, I, I realize it's only off four or five cents in the corn. It may be meaningless that it's held up very well relative to the wheat, but it almost feels like they're about ready to dump all three markets and they've already dumped one. So they're about ready to dump the other two. That's just my gut feeling. Model's not saying that. <laughs> Model's just saying these markets don't know what they're doing. They can't get convicted, but we better watch price levels that if violated, we need to take that as a clue that that's where the conviction is going and go with it, okay? Because we can get some last minute pops here in corn and beans this month before down next month. Problem is, we're also now in that time frame and various setups, we can just start going lower into those lows late January and February. Hopefully this is some use to you. Watch those parameters. Yesterday's low, today's high in the corn market. Okay, now do I have anything in the soybeans to add? Uh, nothing. Okay, absolutely nothing. Uh, trades above yesterday's high? Well, we've got to give them a chance to push it to 1280, but don't really want to be bowled up on it. Trade below yesterday's low? Okay, not a good sign. All right, but it may just be coming into a level three bottom and just bottom in the next day or two. I'm not picking up signs and beans that it's already placed a level three bottom and can set up a scenario of five, 12 trading days lower, but we'll see. Right at the moment, I would say the bean market is more than any of the other two <laughs> of the three markets. Beans doesn't have a clue of what it wants to do. And, and it's not that they're truly confused and like upset. They honestly don't even want to do anything with beans. It's almost like they feel like, well, there's nothing here. Don't push and shove me around. I don't want your analysis, okay? It's kind of like an equilibrium, but also doldrums almost. Whereas the corn was looking like it wanted to work higher, and it may still, because it didn't fall apart on crashing wheat, so it may still firm up on us. If I'm little getting concerned, it may not, okay? Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. Thank you.